How's it going YouTube? My name is Elvin Ninja 7 your favorite WoW YouTuber. And guys, today we're going to be going over something that everyone should be doing right now if you have not already. And to put it simply, it is to level this class. Go ahead and get it to 70, push its gear up and get it ready for the next patch. And guys, today we are talking about Evoker. If you have not heard already, Evokers, th there are plenty of reasons why you should be leveling this class. I personally have it as my second highest level uh, character because I do have a main, a main Mistweaver. You guys probably already know that if you're watching my channel. But if you have not leveled this class, there are so many reasons to level it. And that's what we're going to be going over today. And first up, we're going to be talking about the biggest change that's coming. And that is a new spec. So they are actually getting a third spec. It's very unique in the sense that it is a DPS spec, but it's kind of a support play style. So they're going to be augmenting your allies, hence the name Augmentation uh, Evoker. But how they do that is they're going to be buffing your allies for them to do more damage. And then they have some very cool spells that this page goes over. Um, one of them is instead of flying, so let's let's show you what the, the normal one looks like. This you fly over and you do a set amount of damage. Instead of that, they're going to fly over and apply a, a little kind of like a debuff to everyone in that area. And then your allies are going to be doing damage to them. And that's going to store damage that at the end of it, it's going to pop and do a bunch of damage. So it's it's just really cool some of the things that they can do. Um, you're going to be buffing your allies' primary stat, which is just so awesome. You're going to be giving your healers more healing, your other DPS players more damage. And you can like kind of uh, work with their cooldowns a lot. It's going to be just, it's going to play play so much different than anything that we have in the game and one of the main reasons why I chose to be a healer in WoW is because they basically play a completely different game than the other players. So tanks have their game, they have to know routes in Mythic Plus and they have to know their character and all the mechanics just like every other class. But uh, DPS players, they kind of just sit there and do DPS dodge mechanics, whereas healers do healing dodge mechanics but instead of having to know how to do their, their class the best. They also have to know how to um, heal boss mechanics. So when a boss does their damage, they have to do their healing. So it's kind of like a different way to look at a, a fight. You kind of look at the fight upside down in a way. So that's why I like healing. Well, this is a totally different way to look at things. You're going to be looking at your, your teammates' cooldowns. Uh, normally, when you would be pressing your damage cooldowns, you're going to be pressing buttons that give them more damage, let them pump more damage, then it's going to pop and let you do more damage. So it's just going to be a ton of fun, and everyone's you're not going to want to not have have an evoker leveled ready for this class to hit live so make sure you guys are doing that but let's go and go over some of the other reasons on top of these and then also read these abilities i'm sorry really quick this is just awesome conjure a pair of wern stones uh i don't know how to say that but you so basically you're going to give one of your allies a stone and you're going to have one and you can press the button again to teleport to the other player or they can teleport to you just really cool stuff lots of very unique mechanics in this class so you're definitely going to want to be able to play it right once it hits live but next up it is just the newest class to play so the best part about playing the newest class is that you're going to get the most fresh content so the story is all about your class so you can kind of immerse yourself in it a little bit more but more importantly the gameplay is going to shift a lot more so uh, the WoW developers are, are still trying to look for identities for your class to fill and that's why we saw the Devastation Evoker kind of get a little rework recently that we've seen so many big playstyle shifts in the the Preservation Evoker uh, playstyle and you're just going to see a lot of that a lot of adapting a lot of moving and just a lot of changing and that's just fun it keeps your class fresh so it's always just a good option to play the most recent one i know it's kind of uh, you're kind of suckering into doing what everyone else is doing but if you don't play this currently now would be a good time to have this class level just in case you enjoy it and want to play it in the next expansion or in the next patch uh and then next up is both the current specs are actually really good right now preservation of Oker, they didn't lose much they didn't lose much at all coming into 10.1 they aren't at the top of the healing charts but they provide a lot of utility in a raid and their their uh how they do their healing lines up very well with how the bosses do their damage uh since they do a lot of of healing based on how much damage your your group has taken recently and that works really good with the bursty bursty nature of this raid so preservation is in a great spot and then not to mention their their mythic plus the utility is just insane they have so much they have lust they have so much mobility they just do so much healing a good tank support a good tank defensive so they're a great option do good damage and then devastation evoker just does so 
much damage, very simple rotation, very fun to play. It's just very thematic and it's just a great class to have, but also it's just performing very well right now in both Raid and Mythic Plus. Next up is you actually have a Legendary. Now you can't see it in the Dungeon Journal um, because you get it from killing Scale Commander Sarkrath, but you actually get a quest item that drops uh, whenever you kill her. Uh, if you're lucky, but let's see. I actually have it pulled up. So, so evokers are the only class right now that has a legendary to my knowledge And it's a very good one and you'll notice it also screams Augmentation evoker. So how it works is your empower spells, which if you haven't played evoker You you have a couple spells that you can charge up to make stronger uh, They just can't they have a longer cast time uh, If you want them to be stronger if that makes sense, but your empower spells activate the order magic within releasing a sphere of order that seeks a powerful ally increasing their primary stat by a chunk so basically whenever you use your empower spells you're going to be buffing an ally which just to me screams augmentation evoker so you're going to want to head and you're going to want to go ahead and start gearing up that evoker right now so you can start grinding for this item because it is so strong and it's going to be so good for when the new spec comes out uh and then last up most importantly is that it is very easy to level you actually start out at level 58 when you start an evoker so i highly recommend you at least start it right now before they set that down to level one uh, if they ever do that but you basically only have to level it for 12 levels so it's very quick and easy and you can get a really easy good feel for both the specs while leveling it and see which one you want to play until that new spec comes out or if you just want to stick to one of those i personally love preservation evoker but i do plan on playing augmentation evoker it sounds so much fun but like i said it's very quick and easy to level so if you have not done that already now's the time to jump on that and leveling right now is so so easy very quick to do so now would be the time so that's going to do it for this video it was just a quick one just a little word of advice that i haven't heard anyone talking about recently we know that there's a new evoker spec coming out but i guess all the other youtubers kind of assume that you've already got one leveled or maybe you guys just wanted a reason to play your evoker and this is a big reason so go ahead and start gearing it up I know personally I have started doing some raid runs every week, at least doing LFR, just giving myself a little chance uh, to get some good items to go ahead and start gearing up. And I actually got a Rashox Molten Heart in the vault this week. So I highly recommend that you guys go ahead and get the jump on that. Go ahead and start killing Sarkrath on normal, on heroic. If, you, if you're at that position, go ahead and start killing it in mythic, but just give yourself more chances at the legendary item so that you're prepped and ready for when Augmentation Evoker comes out. So guys, like I said, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Very different from my other content, but I just thought this was something that had to be said and um, just some good advice for you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you're part of, a, uh, part of my channel already, I really appreciate you guys sticking around for this one because it is so different than what I, I usually make. But if not, consider subscribing. I am a small YouTuber just trying to make it out here, just trying to make some good Miss Weaver content for my fellow Miss Weaver players. And I really appreciate all the support that you guys give me. So make sure you guys hit like on your way out. It really helps me know if you guys like this style of video if you want me to give you more of my words of advice uh, like this um but then also just make sure you comment down below what you guys are looking forward to if you're if you're excited about the new augmentation spec or if you just like playing your evoker currently because i've been having a lot more fun playing it than i had in the past so thank you guys so much once again for all the support and i will see you guys in the next video take care